Hello everybody, Don't Blink here again with another episode of Indie Showcase for you guys. This week I'll be covering a game which has recently comprised a large portion of my gaming hobby, Super Monday Night Combat. Super MNC is the free-to-play sequel to Uber Entertainment's debut offering, Monday Night Combat, which released in August 2010 on the Xbox 360 via Xbox Live Arcade, and later in January 2011 on PC via Steam. Super MNC can best be described as a third-person shooter multiplayer online battle arena game. Think equal parts Gears of War and League of Legends. In Super MNC, the goal is to destroy the enemy team's money ball. In order to do so, you must first get near it. In order to do that, you must escort your team's computer-controlled bots from your spawn to the enemies, destroying enemy bots and turrets along the way, all the while preventing your enemies from doing the same. At the beginning of each match, your character starts at level 1. As the match progresses and you kill enemy bots, turrets, and players, your character will earn money. This money not only acts as experience, leveling up your character as it accrues, but also as currency allowing you to spawn bots and purchase power-ups. The most important of these power-ups is the Annihilator, a power-up which will instantaneously kill all enemy bots and moderately damage all enemy players. The Annihilator can only be used once every 5 minutes, so opposing teams will often fight tooth and nail to secure it. As a MOBA type game, Super MNC's characters all fulfill different roles within a team. There are strikers, commandos, enforcers, sharpshooters, and defenders. As such, no matter what your personal playstyle, it's likely that you'll be able to find a character or two that suits you. At the end of each match, you'll earn experience and combat credits depending upon how well you did that round. XP levels your account up, giving you access to more endorsement slots, which I'll get to in a bit. Combat credits allow you to permanently purchase characters, endorsements, and products. Endorsements slightly augment your character's stats in-game, affecting things like your character's firing rate, health, speed, accuracy, and more. Higher level endorsements affect multiple stats in both positive and negative ways, so there are tons of different combinations to be experimented with. Products, on the other hand, have much more noticeable effects, but you can only have three equipped at any given time and there are far fewer to choose from. Over Armor, for example, will regenerate your character's armor when at full health, so long as your character is level 10 or higher. Money Magnet, on the other hand, will suck up money lying about the battlefield, helping your character level up faster. Overall, I really enjoy Super MNC and would definitely recommend it to fans of third-person shooters and MOBA-type games. It does suffer a bit from free-to-play syndrome in that it takes ages to accumulate enough combat credits to purchase characters, products, and endorsements, but the game is fun enough that I don't mind it all that much. I'm not actually sure when Super MNC will be officially released, but until then you can always sign yourself up for a chance at trying out the closed beta. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. As always, thanks for watching this week's episode of Indie Showcase. Have a nice day. Ooh, cool of Onyx.